Well, I think you've seen that Gustavo has plenty of passion, desire, yearning, and willingness to work. With a strong dose of brilliance and virtuosity thrown in, that has resulted in an extraordinary body work of over the last 50 years. And now, before Gustavo himself joins us, we want to thank you very much for spending the afternoon with us. If any particular piece interests you, or if you have any questions at all, you will find this entire exhibition online at galeriaatotoniocostore.com. All prices include shipping. Since Valentine's Day, we have had an offer of special pricing until March 15th. However, only for those of you who have attended this tour, we will extend the deadline to March 22nd. So to discuss special pricing on any piece or pieces, just email or phone me. All my contact information is on that website. And now we are very excited to invite Gustavo into the gallery with us and also to invite any of you who are attending this tour to join us in the gallery also. To come to the gallery to meet Gustavo in person, well, in, in Zoom person, and to make comments or ask questions, all you have to do is press the raise your hand button on your Zoom screen. Press the raise your hand button and we will all gather here in the gallery together with Gustavo himself. So we'll take a moment to make this transition and then we'll see you all here in the gallery with Gustavo. Thank you again for joining us. Hello, everyone. Um, yeah, everyone raising their hand has been permitted to talk. And we're waiting for Gustavo to connect so he can be a panelist as well. And then, Doralise, if you can see everyone in the room, please. Uh, OK, here I am. <laughs> oh, can good. Ah, good. Yes, we see you. This is good. terrific. Gustavo, huh. would you like to uh, to make a few remarks to greet everyone? Well, uh, I am in my studio in Jalapa, in Coatepec, and uh, it's uh, it's good to talk to you for a moment to say hello. This exhibition that I cannot I cannot see. I have not seen because I have not been to Atotonilco this year. But uh, as usual, I'm, I'm sure that it is uh, very beautifully displayed. And I hope that uh, people can get a good impression of what is there. I don't know if there are any questions or what can we say further. So Doralise, if you can see people who are in the room, yes. those of you who are in the room, literally raise your hand. That is, um, you know, literally so that Doralise can see that you'd like to make a remark. And Doralise, would you host the session and call on people? Yeah, of course. So um, everyone who raised, raised their hand previously are allowed to talk right now. If you have any questions, um, I see Lori Baldwin, Connected, Vadna, Cynthia Blanton, Jim Garland, Nancy Rose, Renee, Renee Deal, Sue Wiseman. So if any of you want to speak or have a question for Gustavo, just raise your hand again and you can start talking or asking any questions. Or Doralise, I think it would work best if you call on people. Okay. So if, if you'd like to say something, literally raise your hand in front of your face so Doralise can see that you'd like to say something and then Doralise you call on individuals. 
Okay, so we'll switch to the gallery um, view for everyone. So now you can see that everyone's connected. Um, probably Lori Baldwin would like to say something. Um, you raised your hand. Uh, yes, how long will this exhibit be on and can we come out to see it? Susan, could you answer the question for Lori? Oh, I figured oh, I had to be in the room now. So, yes. So, yeah. so, so the gallery yeah, is very much open for visitors. And, and we welcome you to come to, if you're in or near, definitely come on out. We we observe all the safety protocols and we make only one appointment at a time. So you'll be here by yourself or right with, you know, just with the members of your own party. Um, just give the give us a call uh, uh, and make an appointment. We take we are open Wednesday through Sunday and we take appointments from 11 to 3, about 11 to 3 or 1130 to 3. So just call us and make an appointment. We'd love to have you come out to see the show in person. Believe me, this Zoom show doesn't really do it justice. You have to see the pieces in person. We welcome you to come on out. Just give us a call. Thank you. All right, so um, we have also Vatna Su. Um, if you want to say something or do you wanna ask a question to Gustavo or Susan or Mayer, just go ahead. I just would like to thank you so much. Oh. Sounds like you're getting a phone call. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but thank you so much. It was fascinating. Just, oh. If I went there in an actual person, it'd be hard to keep my hands off touching them. I want to feel them. They're so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Gallery and you will let you touch them. Oh, carefully. thank you. Okay. Okay. Let's see. I'm really thrilled to see Jim Garland here. Jim's a dear friend from Santa Fe. Uh, how are you? And how's that, how are things in Santa Fe, Jim? You have to unmute yourself, or maybe Doralise can unmute you. How's this now? Better. Good. Better. Well, hi, Susan. Hi, Mayor. Hi, Gustavo. It's great to see the three Hello. of you. Hello, Jim. We cannot see you, but it's a pleasure to hear you. Okay. Well, it's a pleasure to see you and hear you. It was such a wonderful tour, by the way. I just want to, I know a huge amount of work went into this, and I think, um, I think, I think Susan and Mayor did a really very nice job. Um, of, of explaining the context and the history of your pieces. Gustavo, which are just, I mean, stunningly beautiful and um, intimidating because it's hard to imagine one human being doing all of that in a lifetime. So, you know, it's so wonderful to see you, you know, and all three of you are welcome back to Santa Fe anytime you like. We'll it was such a pleasure being with you some years ago. I don't know if it was three or four years ago but it was uh, it's a it's a very nice memory that i have of your beautiful place in the desert so it certainly would be a pleasure to go back there i, I hope you do i really do and uh, yeah. uh we want to come on and visit you too by the way uh well and susan it's been a long time since we really talked in person so you will be very welcome here please do do you want to say anything, Carol? Carol's a little shy here. She's right beside me. Gustavo, I am curious. When I look at the glazes that you use, you you tend towards the monochromatic or the cool side of the spectrum. And have you ever thought to work with, you know, the I saw maybe one orangey red piece, but the yellows and the, you know, sort of the sun colors. Well, uh this is something that uh, is, a, is a personal choice. It's it's the the kind of colors that that uh, that I have found that I have uh, 
uh, thought and felt belong to my to my work. Uh, I have tried uh, very few times. I have tried other colors, but uh, I always return to uh, uh, this this. Uh, a palette that is reduced and many many times as you have seen it's just black and white for me i don't know if it can change it could be but uh, uh, i don't think so <laughs> i think i will remain with the same uh, colors few <laughs> Well, they're beautiful. I, I have no quarrel with them. I was just curious whether you had experimented or or you are happy where you are. I'm happy where I am and uh, open to other possibilities. When I feel that something belongs, I will use it, of course. But it's interesting that uh, having worked in many places where there, there are many other colors, and shiny, brilliant uh, reds and yellows. Uh, I decide not to use them. No, I cannot feel them. That's it. Yeah. Wow. Good answer. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see, Renee Dial. I see that you're with us. Can you? Do you have a comment or question? And if so, you need to unmute yourself. Yes. Uh, can you hear me? Okay, uh, hola Gustavo. Uh, Hello. I, I was uh, wondering if you might talk a little bit about the clay that you use and perhaps the technique of masking that you use to create these fabulous designs that are both intricate and fluid at the same time. Well, uh, to talk about that is possible, but it's certainly not so easy to understand uh -huh. uh, because you would have to, to see it being made in order to really understand, even for the assistants and visitors and uh, apprentices here in the studio, it takes a while to, of, of, of making, watching and making, Till they get the till they get to understand. But anyway, in any case, it, it is protection, reserving certain areas, and applying the glaze, and then covering the, the glazed areas and discovering others to apply another glaze. It's it's a very intricate process. Yeah. But uh, it's it's. Uh, something that I have made many years in the past, but not anymore. An interesting thing is how nowadays my work is being painted by hand. This is a, a decision. It has to do with, with uh, well, a, a great change in the, in the way the studio is organized now because I have uh, I don't have the assistants that I have had for many years, and and uh, this means uh, a necessity to to adapt to new circumstances and uh, trying to discover possibilities that I never used before but are, that uh, remained attractive and interesting. And that's what I am, what I remain now, painting by hand with brush, applying layer after layer of glaze. Wow. And uh, it means uh, it's, it's a new change because uh, as, uh, as you can see in this exhibition now in Atotonilco and many others of my work, there are, there are many different techniques that I use and I change from one to the other to the other. I really don't mm -hmm. care to be very consistent or to remain uh, within a certain way. 
technique, technically speaking, a certain technique of work, but I prefer to, to go in the direction that I feel I want to go. And, uh, and it has been uh, like this always. I have changed and uh, somehow uh, new work seems to betray probably previous work somehow, but I don't care about that. It's all mine and it's different periods of my life. So since uh, we do change as everything changes, I find it very natural that the results of the work, that the techniques I use also change uh, in a very sometimes drastic way. So that's maybe the explanation. Technically, I would find it difficult to, to explain more. It would be necessary to come and see it here. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Welcome visitors. You welcome visitors to your gallery sometimes, Gustavo, correct? Yes, it is possible to visit here, of course. Nowadays, it's a complicated story, but it has always been possible to visit the studio. And uh, nowadays, I receive not many, but I have been receiving visitors sometimes. And uh <clears throat> Sue Wisenhand, I see that you're with us. And do you have a question or comment? Um, I'm, I'm a friend, um, Mayor, of your sister Judy, oh. <clears throat> living in Santa Barbara. I'm one of the Santa Barbara friends. And my question is, um, I noticed a lot of your works seem to have, a, it, the earlier works had a feeling of Rothko or of uh, Moreau. Um, to me, and I was wondering when you've spent time, I believe you said in Paris, did you find that you had influences from the artists that lived in that part of the world when you were in that part of the world yourself? If, if, if the, well, regarding influences, I have always thought that uh, it's very difficult to say with precision what is what means uh, something important as influence in my work because uh, I, I prefer to think this is an unconscious process, the way things affect you, the things that attract. Uh, sometimes you are aware of them, sometimes, many times you are not. And, uh, and uh, I think there are just too many influences in, in, in the world nowadays with the communication, the possibility that we have to communicate with everything, everywhere, from the past until today. Uh, it's, uh, it's impossible to say I belong to this line of work. I, I, this is my school. These are my, my masters. There are just so many, many that I admire. And uh, an interesting thing can be the fact that those that I admire the most are the artists that make the kind of work I would not be able to make at all. I mean, I admire the, them the most because they are so far away from, from me. When, when I see work that is familiar to my language, uh, I understand it better probably, but it's not so uh, important as, a, as an impression as the work of, uh, of those that, that simply I cannot understand. And then those I prefer, I think. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, very great answer. 
And now it, I can't see anyone else on the screen. Doralise, can you see anyone who? Um, we do not have any more raising hands. We do have um, in the chat some two comments. Uh, Barbara Lamb, I, I don't know if you're seeing those comments, Susan, but I can, I can just read them to everyone. Barbara Lamb says, I'm in awe of your work. I bought a sculpture of yours in 2016. Had no business to do so, but I couldn't not to, thanks to Philippa. <laughs> I had no business doing it, but I couldn't help myself. Yeah, and um, another comment uh, from Gail Racher. Uh, great exhibit and program today. Miss you all and your gallery and Gustavo's pieces this year, but not with COVID. Gail Rancher, Santa Fe. Okay, um, um, we do have someone who wants to speak. It's Judy. Let me just allow you to talk. Okay. Now you can unmute yourself, Judy. It was absolutely jealous. And having a friend who purchased one of Gustavo's pieces a few back, I, um, it, it's all the more thrilling. Uh, I wish the recipient had been able to watch this, but I, I, I think you said that you can, we can go onto your way and they can see it repeated. Is that correct? Yes. Yes, it has been recorded and we will okay. put it on. Wonderful. It's, I love you. It's great to see you. It was a wonderful presentation. <laughs> Thanks the, so much. By the way, yeah. Jim is my sister so yes. closure <laughs> yes <laughs> nice to meet you gustavo <laughs> nice to meet you too thank you <laughs> well i think we can uh wind this down now unless there are any other comments or questions gustavo we're so grateful you were able to join us. That was so special and really great to see you and great to have you participate. Thank you all for coming very much. Um, Doralise and Federico, send us a Zoom link and so we can Zoom right after this conversation and uh, we'll talk. And then, and I want to thank our technical team of Doralise Herrera and, and Federico, our design and technical people who helped put this together and actually suggested it. <laughs> I'd be nowhere without them. I, I'd like to add to what Susan is saying. <clears throat> Ooh, emotional. Doralise and Federico have been angels to us. They have continued to work for us and with us during this period of COVID, when we were not afford, when we could not afford to pay them, it is they have emerged as dear friends and very special people in our lives. Amen. And all the beautiful design you see, and all the clever manipulations with tech stuff, it's all them. And we, we would not be where we are without them. It's, it's our pleasure, Susan and Mayor. You know, we're always there for you. And here we are just making this happen. Um, thank you, Gustavo, for joining us. And thank you, everyone that connected today. I think it, it was sure. great. And well, we're here. It's, it's your space. Okay. Well, we have, we have not met. We have not met Doralise and Federico. We have not met before, have we? Sí, 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 nos hemos conocido, Gustavo. Ahí en Totonilco, it was in a Totonilco then. Okay, it, but uh, all this process of uh, prepar preparation of this uh, exhibition, I, I, I had not the memory of our meeting there. It was uh, brief and uh, some years ago. I don't remember. Sorry. But anyway, it, thank you for your work. You're and welcome. Come back You're welcome. welcome meet again. Of course, we will. Muy Thank bien. you all. Okay, so we'll wind down now. Thank you all very much for coming. This was a fabulous, fun experiment and experience. And we welcome you all to the gallery whenever you get into San Miguel. 
So we'll, we'll, uh, we'll say goodbye for now. And everyone have a wonderful evening. Goodbye. Adios. 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 Bye. Thank you. Gracias. Hasta luego. Thank you, everyone.